Have you ever felt like you can't play and experiment in your art because you don't want to waste time or you don't want to waste materials? I'm Louise Fletcher, abstract painter, teacher and co-host of the Art Juice podcast and I want to talk to you today about why you have to waste paint and you have to waste time. So this past week I shared a video with my artist community the video was of me working in a sketchbook with collage and inks and having fun and one of the members said I would love to do that but I can never bear to waste time and waste materials in a sketchbook just in case I make something good enough to sell and then it's wasted in the sketchbook. In this way of looking at art making, everything that's good has to be sold and anything that's in a sketchbook and that's good is a waste of time. I couldn't disagree more. I love my sketchbooks. I love going through them for ideas and inspiration and often something that happened months ago, years ago, will come back and give me an idea for something I wanna do in my work now. I also love sharing them at open studios. People like to know that you have a process. It gives your work more credibility, I think, when people go through the sketchbooks and realize there are ideas behind what you're doing and that you're working on developing them and that you're struggling sometimes and that you're discovering new things. And for the same reason, I like sharing them on social media. It's nice to be able to show people my process and give some insights into why I'm doing what I'm doing and where my paintings come from. Now, I've also had artists tell me they can't play and experiment in a sketchbook because it feels like a waste of paint and some say it so feels like a, they feel guilty for wasting time when they could be doing something productive. In my experience though people who say this kind of thing are either beginners or near beginners. They maybe sell a few things a year but they don't make a living from selling their work. People who make a good living from selling their art those people know how important it is to experiment and to play and to do things just for the sake of discovery. They know that look, what looks like a waste is actually a vital part of the art making process. But why is that? Why is it important to experiment and mess around and make things that don't look very nice in order to sell our work? It's because experimentation and play leads us to unique discoveries, things only we do. And when we make art that contains things only we do, it's unique, it's compelling, and a certain group of people want to own it. People it resonates with have never seen anything like it before and they want a piece of it in their own lives. And playing with materials in a sketchbook, which is a private place that no other people have to see, allows you to make discoveries that lead to this unique work. For example, a couple of days ago, I was working in my sketchbook making collage and ink pieces, and um, I stuck down some sewing pattern, which is a very thin tissuey paper. I stuck that down, but I didn't get it smooth, and it got all wrinkles in it, and I thought, oh well, I'll carry on anyway. I splashed some acrylic ink and water over it, and the ink settled into the wrinkles in some, to create some stunning textures, things I never could have planned. That then sparked a desire in me to create a series of small boards using this technique, which I'm currently working on. And I'm quite sure it's gonna carry over into larger work as well. Happy accidents, as Bob Ross would call them, happen like this when I let go of the need to produce something. And I find personally the best place to do that is in the pages of a sketchbook. I think because I can close it up and put it away and no one has to see it. But I know other artists who love to work on loose sheets of cheaper paper. Sometimes people who like to work on big sheets of cheap paper and just really splash paint around. The, ve the vehicle doesn't really matter. What matters is the sense of experimentation and play. Now, I haven't talked about wasted paint. Let's talk about that. So what about this idea of wasting paint? I believe the only wasted paint is the paint that stays in the tube. Because how can we learn and grow and get better if we're not painting? And how can we paint if we're not using paint? Imagine that you decided to ch switch careers and become a master cabinet maker. You would need to go out and buy wood and you would need to make some pretty bad cabinets. 
before you get to a place where you can make anything nice. It's just the same for us. In order to become better painters, to make better art, we have to use paint. And so whatever our budget is, we have to find ways to work within that. Maybe it means using cheap house paint. Maybe it means using cheap brands for a while. Remember, if you're not thinking about producing to sell, it doesn't matter if they're not archival. It doesn't matter if they won't last forever. Any materials will work for experimentation and play. It doesn't need to be paint. But here's my final argument about waste. I think there's something worse than wasting paint or wasting time, and that's wasting precious talent. There is a reason that we feel the urge to create. Something is trying to be born, but it can't arrive if we block it with a production mindset. It can only arrive if we're prepared to put in time and effort and use some pain. It can only arrive if we're prepared to make art that doesn't feel safe and that probably won't get approval from anybody else. For me, the place to do that is inside my sketchbooks. The sketchbook itself isn't the important thing. It's what it means for our ability to be free of the desire to only make things to sell. And the best news is, work in this way inevitably results in us making more of the kind of work that sells. I'm Louise Fletcher. I'm on a mission to inspire artists and ignite creativity. If you don't already receive my artist newsletter, there's a link below, above, around this video to sign up. Every Sunday, I share tips or ideas or inspiration or just cool things I found around the web, and it's all just for artists. So sign up if you're interested. I hope this video was helpful. Happy creating. Bye.